Remember when Democrats were complaining that the president was giving away the store to Republicans that he had no backbone? That was so six months ago, before we were in an election year. Now meet, calling your bluff, Mr. President Obama 2.0. A defiant move by President Obama. Today, I'm appointing Richard as America's consumer watchdog. A controversial step that has progressives cheering and conservatives crying foul. It's wrong, and someone needs to stand up and say, enough, Mr. President, you are not the emperor. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell calls it a sharp departure from a long-standing precedent. It's all about the new Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. In July, the president nominated Richard Cordray to run it. In December, Senate Republicans blocked Cordray's nomination. Then senators went out of town, but they made sure the president could not make a recess appointment. Instead, they kept the Senate in what's called pro forma session. Every three days, a senator shows up, hits the gavel, stands around, then hits the gavel again and leaves. It's like a virtual Congress. President Obama decided to challenge the practice. Rest for a minute. I think all of you should run up to Capitol Hill, check out uh, the House and Senate, and see if you can find a single member of Congress, and then tell me on this working day for most Americans whether or not Congress is in session. White House counsel Kathy Rumler tells CNN the president has the constitutional authority to make recess appointments. And the administration believes for all practical purposes the Senate is in recess. They're calling the Senate's bluff. But is the president flip-flopping? After all, when he was a senator, he opposed President Bush's recess appointment of John Bolton to be ambassador to the U.N. In the case of Mr. Bolton, there were uh, a great many questions about the quali his qualifications for the job and a great, uh, a great deal of opposition to his nomination uh, on the merits. Still, the official record shows <coughs> Bolton likely had the votes President, he needed Madam to get Secretary. Then in the case of uh, Ambassador Bolton, President Obama, then Senator Obama, importantly, did not challenge the right of President Bush to make a recess appointment. In fact, at the time, then Senator Obama was quoted saying, quote, the president is entitled to take that action.